Hi everybody, welcome to another YouTube video. Thank you very much for coming back and also thank you very much for supporting the video that we did, North Facing Panels, because that is what we're going to touch on today. This video is all about revisiting that, so we kind of do a follow-up to the follow-up video, if you like, because we had a lot of questions and there was some information that I forgot to provide and also some information that we've been asked to provide after it. So. Firstly, thanks to everyone for supporting that video. It did really well. Hopefully it provided a lot of value to everybody watching it to decide whether or not to add those extra few panels on the north facing roof. I was very surprised with how that system had, had been done. You'll have seen that on the video, I explained all of that. So I'm not gonna re -go, I'm not gonna go back over everything in that video. We're gonna develop it. So we're gonna look at some more figures, which were the main question in the video on how it works between kind of the different months and the different seasons. But the first thing that I wanted to say was that that roof was at a 30 degree pitch. A lot of the questions were, well, it looks like a very shallow roof. It was at a 30 degree pitch, which is pretty standard across the UK. Obviously, the flatter the pitch, the more light we may be getting from the south facing side coming in and bouncing off. But it was 30 degrees, so it wasn't like it was a 25 degree roof or something like that. It was 30 degrees, so we know that that's pretty standard. So that makes that install even better as a reference point because unless you've got a really steep roof or a really shallow roof, then you're probably at around 30 to 35 degrees on your roof. So that allows you to use these figures as a really good reference point. The other question, like I mentioned, that we got was about how the system performs in like month by month and during the different seasons. So what I've got is, I've got some information here that will hopefully help to break that down. But first, let's have a little look back at the install just to remind you in case this, you haven't seen the initial video. So this is the install that we've been looking at. Roll the drone footage. So that's the job that we're talking about. The, the next part of this is gonna be looking at the, the month by month information. So I'm gonna put a table here and that will show you what the north facing roof has done on um, month by month and what the south facing roof has done in the same month. And then we've got a percentage there and that percentage is um, how much the north facing panels have done compared the south facing ones so for example if we took uh, june 23 we've got uh, 481.15 kilowatt hours that the north facing one had done and we've got 682.47 that the south facing panels have done um, and that means that the north facing panels have produced 70 percent of what the south facing ones had so um, that kind of gives you a bit of an idea and you can kind of compare how wide that gap becomes over the different over the different parts of the year and it does change but um i was pretty surprised about how how limited that change was the other part that i thought we would do is you'll notice there's two aprils on this and i've done april 23 which is part of the initial video uh, and also april 24 i've done april 23 and 4 because april 23 was a was basically when we set it all up. So the generation is pretty low in that. So I've actually included April 24, which wasn't included in the figures that we initially did uh, in the video, the initial part one of the video, because I was doing from April to April, not the full April in 24. So April 24 is a full month, and that gives you a bit more information on, on how April would perform in that sort of scenario. So firstly, just to recap then, we had a total generation of 7,014.53 kilowatt hours for the, for the full April 23 to 24 period. The south facing roof did 4,556.55 kilowatt hours and the north facing did 2,457.98. And I go into that in part one. So if we have a look at April, and I've used the 24, April 24 in this, to September, so six months, the north facing panels did 2089.52 kilowatt hours and the south facing panels did 3356.31 kilowatt hours basically means that the north facing panels did 62 percent um, when compared to the south facing panels 
And if we add both of those together, we get 5,445.83 kilowatt hours, meaning that the north facing panels contributed 38% for the total generation over that six month period. So 38%, nearly 40% of what we did from April to September came from the north facing panels. If we look at the other part of the year, so we've got October to March, so another six month period, north facing panels did 371.84 kilowatt hours, so a lot less. The south facing panels did 1216.23, so a lot less again than when compared to the brighter, brighter half of the year. That means that the north facing panels did 30% when compared to the south facing panels. It generated 30% 30, 30 as, to, as to what the south facing panels did. When we add those two numbers together, we get 1,588.07 kilowatt hours, meaning that when we compare what the north facing panels contributed to that full six month period, the north facing panels contributed 23%. So in the duller part of the year, the north facing panels did 23% of the total generation for that six month period. So that's still a decent contribution to that part of the year. Now, you've got the grid there for each individual month. So, you know, if you're away for part of the year or whatever, you can see how that generation in that month of the year would affect your home. So, for example, the, the lowest parts of the, of the year in terms of generation for this property look like they're on the north facing roof have been January, November, October, uh, December, like all those parts of the year are pretty low generation areas on, uh, on, the, on the property. So that grid hopefully will allow you to see month by month so you can make your own comparison. If you want to do a different six months, then you can do, but that grid will hopefully provide you with all the information you need to make your own calculation. That is a short video and a short recap of the figures. Hopefully that has, has made has clarified some of the questions that we had in the comments, but this is why YouTube is great. We get the comments, we, we make the content around the comments and the questions that we get. So thanks very much for that. If there's anything else <laughs> that I've missed on this, hopefully I haven't. We're just starting 2025, so my head's still trying to get back into work, but hopefully I've not missed anything on there. But if you have got any questions, drop them in the comments again, and hopefully I don't have to make a follow-up to the follow-up to the follow-up video, but if I have to, I will do. Um, because I think this is a really important part of the puzzle in the UK that if we've, we've got smaller houses and sometimes those roofs are filled with windows and dormers. And so having been able to unlock potentially the north side of the roof to give yourself 23% more generation than you would have if you just stuck to say the south is a really, really interesting prospect. So thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. We really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Any questions in the comments, we'll catch you on the next one.